Let's take a look at the chart action for Cosmos. In this video, we're going to be looking at this downtrend. We got a breakout to the upside, but it looks like we're having some trouble breaking out. So yeah, let's take a look at that. The main thing I want to show you is the Cosmos to Bitcoin chart. We had a downtrend going like this and we got a breakout to the upside. All right, let's get into this video. Okay, so here's what I'm looking at on the Cosmos chart. In my last video, we were watching this downtrend going down like this and we got a breakout to the upside. What I'm doing is looking at this triangle pattern and targeting that. Let's drag from the top to the bottom of the triangle. Drag that to the breakout and I'm looking at a target of approximately 46.53 or this previous top somewhere around 44.52. That's those are two levels that I'm kind of watching. I think if we could break out of the previous top, then maybe we can be more confident about this 46 target. But in general, we have support right here and support right here. It looks like we're still on an uptrend going to the upside. The other thing that I'm looking at is this nine moving average right here. There's a blue line. We broke above it right here. And as long as we are above it, that's a good sign in my opinion. And it looks like we're getting support on it. We got support on these three candles right here. Let's see if we can keep this momentum going to the upside. And we could target these previous resistance levels. I'll be watching this uptrend to see how long we can ride it going to the upside. When we break it, that'll be a signal to maybe uh, we're changing directions. Also, this 9 moving average. If we broke below that 9 moving average, then that'll be another signal. Those will be two things that I'll watching to see if we're going to the downside. The thing I do like or the thing I did want to bring to your attention is if we go to the Cosmos to Bitcoin chart, we had this big downtrend going down like this. We broke below the daily 9 moving average right here and we were trending below it. We were getting resistance on it pretty much. And right now, we broke above that 9 moving average. Broke above it right here and it looks like we're getting support on it. I think as long as we can stay above this 9 moving average, that's a good signal. I also really like the way that we had this downtrend and we broke it going to the upside. I think that's also potentially a good signal and we also have some green volume candles as well. I think this chart is the main thing that is making me look at Cosmos more because we had this big downtrend and now we're breaking it. One thing that I am seeing though if we switch over the, the 4 hour time frame we have this downtrend right here. We also have this 180 moving average right here. I'm kind of curious if this is going to give us resistance as well or if it's going to take a while before we can really break to the upside. I think if we could break this 180 moving average on the 4 hour time frame I think then we might see a bigger move. But until we do it might kind of give us some resistance and we might be kind of battling it out in this area right here. Or if we keep getting momentum to the upside and we start meeting it. I think once we do start meeting it, that's when we might start seeing a little bit more resistance or we might see a little correction and have to retest this trend line that we have going to the upside possibly. In general, if this chart is moving down, that's good for Bitcoin. And if this chart starts trending up, that's good for Cosmos. Whenever this chart starts trending up, that's when I start looking at these other coins more. So yeah, if we go back to the Cosmos chart, we did break this downtrend right here, but it also looks like we're having some trouble right now. So I'm not sure. We're going to want to keep an eye on this. In general, it does look like we're still in an uptrend. We have support right here, support right here. I'm watching this trend line right here. If we break that to the downside and break this 9 moving average going to the downside, then I'll probably be looking at these previous support levels. Maybe something like that. Maybe something like that. We could do a Fibonacci retrace retracement if it really starts breaking down but i guess we'll just cross that bridge when we get there if we break that trend line and the moving average in my next video we'll look at solana how we had this pattern and we got a breakout to the upside right here i'll show you what i'm targeting right now click this video and we'll get into this chart right now all right if you guys like this video hit that thumbs up button